My name is Gabby Montoya and I'm the farm manager at Summerland Farm in Cartersville, Georgia. I was born in Guanajuato, Mexico. I'm a 1.5 generation immigrant, which means I was born there, but brought here when I was very young. Um, so I hold my Mexican culture at heart, but I'm also very American. My parents worked on their parents' farm and their parents worked on their parents' farm. So I come from a long line of farmers. I've always been very in touch with my roots and just being out in the field uh, just connects me to that. It, it takes me back to my ancestry. It, when I'm out plowing a field or weeding, I feel like I'm my grandfather. I feel like that's in me. I feel like it's, it's in my blood. My parents aren't too thrilled about the idea of me farming. They don't quite understand it, I think. Uh, they grew up on a farm and that was pretty much all they had. They had to farm. They grew up in a very poor environment and that's, that's what they had to do to get by. And so coming here um, in the search of the American dream, they were hoping you know, their daughter that they sent to college and spent a lot of money on would eventually settle in an office job and make a lot of money. And they're slowly starting to understand that that's not what I'm gonna do. And they're getting used to the idea that I have different passions. There's definitely a stigma around the concept of being a Latino farmer. Uh, I don't know if it's because we come from this generation of farmers where farmers are seen as being poor people and maybe that kind of holds us back. But I say if you feel that passion and you're a young Latino that's been thinking about farming, then it's our responsibility to, to take on that role. I learned farming by Interning at community gardens, I also worked at the community farmer's market where I was able to meet other farmers and they were able to point me in the right direction. I then interned at a few farms where I gained enough experience to be able to manage my own farm. I oversee over two acres of vegetables, herbs, and fruits. We grow all of our crops here without the use of any synthetic chemicals or fertilizers. We try to use our muscles whenever we can instead of using machines. And just trying to stay as basic to what is natural and of the earth. For me, it's not about exploiting land and getting as many vegetables out as you can. It's more about taking care of the land. There's a lot of challenges in farming. Uh, what gets me through the day is just remembering the end goal and remembering that I'm doing something to help my community, to help put this very highly nutritious food on their plates and you know, help them stay connected with what food really is. I see farming as a very spiritual practice and that's what it is for me. When I'm out working the fields or working with plants, I. I I feel the connection with nature and I feel that connection with myself. I see more and more young people today farming and I think it's great. I think that more than ever we need that today, especially here in Georgia um, where most of our farmers are a lot older now and also we definitely need more Latino farmers. I feel that we have a lack of access to healthy local foods in the Latino community, and that's where we really need our Latino farmers to rise up and try to get more involved. Farming is totally worth it.